All right, so Willard Cleon Skousen. Uh, now, Cleon Skousen was an American conservative author, faith-based political theorist, notable anti-communist, and supporter of the John Birch Society, which doesn't mean much. Um, so anyway, the reason that I bring him up is because he was in he was in law enforcement. This is a guy who was with the uh, the FBI, who was a sheriff in Utah, but he wrote the book The Naked Communist. Now, The Naked Communist in that book has the 45 communist goals for about 15 years on my radio program, uh, a little bit less than 15 years. I haven't been doing this for 15 years, uh, 13, 14 years, right? I have been talking about this. Now, I don't know, maybe three, four years ago, other radio hosts started bringing it up. And when I started doing the 45 communist goals, it was about two thirds of the way done. As I read through this list for you today, before we head into open lines at five o'clock, you will notice that it's pretty much complete. Now, the 45 communist goals were actually entered into the congressional record uh, by Albert Herong Jr. And that was in the 1960s, the early 1960s, I believe. It was written in the 1950s. So this was basically the 45 things that communist operators were trying to do to subvert American culture in the U.S., and to take over from within. Now, when this this came out, obviously, you know, it came out in an era of anti-communist, some would call hysteria, but at the same time, it ended up being proven true because the KGB, after the Soviet Union fell, the many former officers, many uh, defectors had actually said, no, he was actually right. We had programs in place to do exactly this. So number one, the first communist goal of the 45 was U.S. acceptance of coexistence as the only alternative to atomic war. That happened. Number two, U.S. willingness to capitulate in preference to engaging in atomic war. That happened. Still is happening. Actually, Trump is reversing that policy. Uh, three, develop the illusion that total disarmament by the United States would be a demonstration of moral strength. That happened. Four, permit free trade between all nations, regardless of communist affiliation and regardless of whether or not items could be used for war. That has happened. Number five, by the way, conservatives even support that. Number five, extension of long-term loans to Russia and Soviet satellites. That happened. Number six, provide American aid to all nations regardless of communist domination. That happened and happens. Number seven, grant recognition of Red China, the admission of Red China to the United Nations. That happened. Number eight, set up East and West Germany as separate states in spite of Khrushchev's promise in 1955 to settle the German question by free elections under supervision of the UN. That happened. Now, keep in mind, this is written in the 50s. Okay. Prolong the conferences to ban atomic tests because the United States has agreed to suspend tests as long as negotiations are in progress. That happened. Number 10, allow all Soviet satellites individual representation in the United Nations. That also happened. Number 11, promote the UN as the only hope for mankind. If its charter is rewritten, demand that it be set up as a one world government uh -huh, with its own independent armed forces. There, well, first of all, Promoting the UN as the only hope for mankind did happen and continues to happen. Um, rewriting the charter and demanding that one world government with the own independent armed forces, that is actually proposed annually at the United Nations. It gets close, but the veto powers of some countries kill it. Uh, 12, resist any attempt to outlaw the Communist Party. That happened. Uh, in fact, when I was in Las Vegas, the Clark County School District had a policy against any known or admitted communist being a teacher, and they revoked that policy. So you could be an open communist in the Clark County School District and still be a teacher. Number 13, do away with all loyalty oaths, which is exactly what they are trying to do with the Pledge of Allegiance and the, uh, the Star-Spangled Banner. Number 14, continue giving Russia access to the U.S. Patent Office. That happened. 15, capture one or both of the political parties in the United States. Uh, anybody want to try and deny that one? Have you, have you seen the Democrats running for office right now? By the way, Republicans are on this too, but I'm just saying, clearly the Democratic Party has been captured. And there's a lot in the Republican Party who are right there with them. Capture one or both of the political parties in the United States. And what do we have? We have a communist, because he's not a democratic socialist, Bernie Sanders. He's an actual communist running for office. Uh, we have elected a bunch of young socialists on the democratic side. 
to office. There's a lot of Republicans who support them on many issues. So that's number 15 of the 45. We'll do the rest coming up, and then we'll lead right into open lines starting at 5 o'clock. We can call by any issue that you want. All right, so we're talking about the 45 communist goals. I have referenced that it's time to do this again several times over the past couple of weeks. I've actually had listeners, several, uh, reach out to me both on Discord and via email and on social media and tell me it's time to do it again. And I actually had somebody say that it's time to do the uh, the types of governments in the cow model as well, because I haven't done that in a long time. That's always a good one. It's very visual. People kind of get it when you do that one. Um, so I figured, you know, it came up again today. I passed the mic. Might as well do the 45 communist goals. We left off at number 15. Now, number 15 was capture one or both of the political parties. Now, we've already had people call and ask where they can get it. One, this was published in the book by Cleon Skousen called The Naked Communist. You can still purchase this book. I recommend everybody get it and read it. Two, this is always a featured post on my website at theburningtruth.us, and I will include a link to it in today's daily show prep. Okay, so you can go to theburningtruth.us after the show, and there will be a link to this post. I've been talking about this for, like I said, 13 years. Okay, uh, capture one or both of the political parties. Number 16. Use technical decisions of the courts to weaken basic American institutions by claiming their activities violate civil rights. Yeah, that's happening. Uh, get control of the schools. Use them as transmission belts for socialism and current communist propaganda. Soften the curriculum. Get control of teachers associations. Put the party line in textbooks. That's number 17. But let's be honest, that is numerous. And every single solitary one of those things has demonstrably taken place. Every single one. That's actually what happened today at Pass the Mic. An individual made reference to that same thing, and I looked right at her and said, that's one of the 45 communist goals. Number 18, gain control of all student newspapers. Done. Well, not all of them, but pretty darn close. Uh, 19, use student riots to foment public protests against programs or organizations which are under communist attack. G, occupy Antifa, the like. Mm -hmm. Infiltrate the press. Done. Get control of book review assignments. Done. Editorial writing. Done. And policy making positions. Done. That's all number 20, by the way. Number 21, gain control of key positions in radio, TV, and motion pictures. Done, done, done. Done, done, done. Should have done it that way. Number 22, continue discrediting American culture by degrading all forms of artistic expression. An American communist cell was told to eliminate all good sculpture from parks and buildings and substitute shapeless, awkward, and meaningless forms. Yeah, that has happened all over. And right now, they're talking about tearing down all these historic statues, okay? Number 23, control art critics and directors of art museums. Our plan is to promote ugliness, repulsiveness, and meaningless art. 24, eliminate all laws governing obscenity by calling them censorship and a violation of free speech and free press. Done. Break down cultural standards of morality by promoting pornography and obscenity in books and magazines, motion pictures, radio, and TV. Done. Present homosexuality, degeneracy, and promiscuity in general as normal, natural, and healthy. Done, although I have issues with that one. Keep in mind we're talking about the 1950s. Infiltrate the churches and replace revealed religion with social religion. Hello, University of Notre Dame. Uh, 28, eliminate prayer or any phase of religious expression in the schools on the grounds that it violates the principle of separation of church and state. Heck, we have whole organizations that do that now at the taxpayer's dime. Discredit the American Constitution by calling it inadequate, old-fashioned, out of step with modern needs, a hindrance to cooperation between nations and a worldwide basis. That is literally the Democratic Party's platform these days at the national level. Number 30, discredit the American founding fathers. Present them as selfish aristocrats who had no concern for the common man. Done. 31, belittle all forms of American culture and discourage the, teacher, the teaching of American history on the grounds that it was only a minor part of the big picture. Give more emphasis to Russian history since the communists took over. Yeah, partially done. Support any socialist movement to give centralized control over any part of our culture, education, social agencies, welfare programs, mental health clinics, etc. Done, done, done is the Democratic Party platform. Eliminate all laws or procedures which interfere with the operation of the communist apparatus. Done. Eliminate the House Committee on Un-American Activities. Done. Discredit and eventually dismantle the FBI. Hey, it's kind of happening. Although the FBI, largely responsible for doing it to themselves. 36, infiltrate and gain control of more unions. Done. Infiltrate and gain control of big business. Also, for the most part, done. 
transfers some of the powers of arrest from the police to social agencies, treat all behavioral problems as psychiatric disorders, which no one but psychiatrists can understand or treat. Done partially. Remember, Obama proposed that civilian police force a while back. He abandoned it because it was unpopular. 39, dominate the psychiatric profession and use mental health laws as a means of gaining coercive control over those who oppose communist goals. Done. Discredit the family as an institution. Encourage promiscuity and easy divorce. That's number 40. I would add a portion on demand on that one as well. Done. 41, emphasize the need to raise children away from the negative influence of parents, attribute prejudices, mental blocks, and retarding of children to suppressive influence of parents. Done. Create the impression that violence and insurrection are legitimate aspects of the American tradition, that students and special interest groups should rise up and use, quote, united force to solve economic, political, or social problems, also known as Antifa. Overthrow all colonial governments before native populations are ready for self-government. Yeah, partially done. Internationalize the Panama Canal. Done. And number 45, ladies and gentlemen, repeal the Connolly Reservation so the United States cannot prevent the World Court from seizing jurisdictions over domestic problems. Give the World Court jurisdiction over nations and individuals alike. The Obama administration attempted it. The United States Supreme Court shot it down. When I first started reading this list, Two-thirds of it was done. You can say one and a half aren't complete yet, but there have been attempts. That's in the past just over a decade, 13 years or so. Huge, dramatic changes in our society have happened. Now, keep in mind, defectors from the Soviet Union who worked with the KGB and former KGB officers who have spoken publicly about this said they had programs in place to do this because they knew they couldn't beat us in an armed conflict. So they had to change the culture. It's one of the reasons that they infiltrated the civil rights movement. It's one of the reasons they infiltrated hippie uh, movements and things like that. There was KGB agents at Woodstock for crying out loud. It was a way for them to enter counterculture in the United States in order to influence people who would grow up to become professors and politicians and business leaders and, of course, parents. The 45 Communist Goals found in the naked communist i encourage you to purchase it they will be in the daily show prep today written by cleon skousen and former fbi agent and sheriff in the state of utah